Setting up a cross report drill through is one of those tasks that you need to know what you're doing with it and you need to understand what's happening. Let's go through and do one now and then we'll understand a lot more about why they're different. And really, because you understand that, it's gonna make normal drill throughs so much simpler. So you wanna be a Power BI developer. We can see it cross highlights, fact and dimension. The visual calculations, so we've got time intelligence within there. Let's just get right down to it. Let's start simple. So here we are, a blank Power BI report. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect it to a recent data source. We'll pick the week 13 things that we've just published. And you can see on the right hand side, we get our view of here is all our data. What we're gonna do though, is we're gonna say, what I want is this to be a drill through. So again, on the right hand side, if we zoom in, you can see we've got the format, select format, page information, page type, gonna be drill through. Okay, and we're gonna tick the box here to say cross report drill through. Then you decide what fields you want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this a product one. So what we're gonna say is we're gonna put this on subcategory. So we've put in subcategory. We've got the option to say, well, do we want to have other filters as well? We'll leave the other filters as well, just for now. Although we could say no, but we'll leave it as simplest, but sometimes you're gonna want either way, okay? For the sake of this, let's get this in quickly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build, I'm gonna put some measures in here. So we've got our sales. Let's put in sales amount and let's put in profit. And then let's do the really cool thing that we all love and hate. Let's put in our, oh. let's put in that. And then what we can do as well is put in the orders. We'll go total quantity sold on our map. Okay, and then at this point, we just drill down into our states. Okay, let's come out of being zoomed in. So suddenly we've got a nice view that's gonna help, okay? Pretty simple, nothing too complicated in this. You can see we've got the back arrow. We'll leave that in as well for now. We're not gonna theme this page, although we obviously would if this was a normal one. I'm gonna hit the publish. This is gonna be subcategory drill through, okay? Save it, and we're gonna to choose to publish this with the rest of our new app that we're building for our um, B2B report. So B2B app one, publish there. So we've got this published now. So I've published everything. So what, what more would I need to do? Okay, so let's go have a look at the report. There we go. Okay, so we've got our page. So if we come to the app, we look at products, which is the nice report page that we've got. I should be able to drill. Oh, can't drill through. This is the gotcha with cross with cross report drill throughs. So what we need to do is to go to settings here yeah, and further down. If you scroll down, you see it says cross report drill through. Allow visuals in this report to use cross report targets from other reports. So we do that. So now if we come in here, we right click, we see we have page one of the subcategory drill through. So we can click there and it will now take us through to the subcategory drill through. And we can see on the right hand side, it's saying subcategories are furniture and tables. Okay, so it's brilliant. We've got that sorted. We can see we've made a loss on these actually, haven't we? So that works really easily for us to do. And what we could probably do is change that bubble to be profit might be a sensible way to go and do something like that. But yeah, lots of stuff to do. Cross report drill through. It's well worth understanding how to do it. It's well worth understanding how filters are passed through when you have that toggle selected for keep all filters. And it's well worth experimenting depending on what you want. So in the context that we built, 
we could decide actually what we wanted to do was to get to the point where you're exploring something, but then say, well, I now want to explore a specific product and have those as different levels of drill that you go through. And when you get down to a specific product, you might remove the other filters. So you're just looking at that single product, seeing everything related to that product. Because what we've got today with the, the one I've just built is something that's going to allow us to do not just or do the subcategory, but also bring through any date filters or any other kind of filters that we might have. If we looked at just a customer, it would just, these are the, the ones related to that customer. So be aware, understand what's going on and enjoy it. If you like what you see, get in touch with Geordie Consulting. They're here to help. They've got the experience and the know-how to help take your business data to the next level.